Greetings and welcome to World of Monsters round two. We'll leave the jibber jabber to the jabberwock. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. This is my second shot at this as I made a whole video and I started editing it. And then things like that happened. But I rambled too much and too long and I want to get to the point faster and clearer. So the questions are, can a face hugger impregnate or insert an embryo into a demogorgon? And the second question is, what would it look like? What would a demomorph basically look like? A xenomorph merged with a demogorgon, a demogorgon type of xenomorph. Starting with what's canon, and that's something people even still argue about, well, let's just say the alien movies, even though all of them aren't considered canon by many people either. But looking simply by how face huggers attach them themselves and do the whole impregnation process, I would say no. Now, some things to think about is first of all, the mouth part of the Demogorgon, as you see here, and you can see the creation of this little Demomorph in a separate video I did a while back for the Demogorgon versus Xenomorph video. Now, back to the question is a face hugger attaching itself to this mouth. Look at that mouth. Look at all those teeth. It would be devastating. They would probably both end up dying. The face hugger from the damage from this mouth and the demomorph, I mean the demogorgon, demogorgon, from the acid blood of the face hugger. So that's the question is, could it attach itself first of all and then impregnate? Let's say it did attach itself somehow, or it's a big face hugger, it's a queen face hugger or some different species. Uh, or subspecies of face hugger. We know that the process it uses is strangulation with the tail, right? Now, as we've seen in Stranger Things, the Demogorgon doesn't necessarily breathe the same air or depend on oxygen as much as we do, as in the Upside Down, the air is not compatible with us, for example. But we didn't see it have issues in our realm either. So could it be strangulated? Not sure. And then there's that idea of maybe the face hug hugger has some kind of immobilizing poison or something that it stings and inserts into the Demogorgon. But a lot of people don't uh, believe in that. And there's also no proof, I believe, of that, except for that strangulation method and feeding the air into the host to keep it alive. So with those terms, looking at the movies, particularly the first one, maybe second one, I would say no, it wouldn't be possible. But something to consider here too is the bull, which was in the original ver no, which was in the second version, sorry, the original version had the dog. But the second version had the bull that was impreg impregnated. I believe that was Alien 3, correct me if I'm wrong. That was the prison one. And the whole question about that is, was the bull impregnated, I don't like using that word, but had it had the em embryo uh, inserted before death or after death? That's a big question. So that's something to consider as well when thinking about what kind of things can, can the face hugger attach itself to and insert these eggs or embryos. So in those tight terms of those few movies, uh, then I would say no, but then there's the cutscene with the cocooning method, the cocoon method, and I believe that in those terms, in that method, yes. I guess the overall answer, looking at the movies and kind of what's mostly considered canon is maybe. The cocoon method, I would say yes, that if the Demogorgon was cocooned somehow, it could slowly be transformed into a Demomorph. Now, the second question, I think I covered everything. If not, I'll just cut it in later. And now the alien movies aside, basing off of comics and various toys and toy stories surrounding the xenomorphs, then I would say absolutely, most certainly, yes, a Demogorgon would be able to be impregnated. And really, you don't have to look far to understand why I'm making this conclusion as when you look at the different toys, I mean, they even have a fly xenomorph, they have a spider xenomorph, they have a snake xenomorph. So in the toy lines, and those connect to the comic books, and as well in the comic books, they have other strange mixed combinations of xenomorphs with different creatures. 
So yes, by those terms, absolutely a Demogorgon would be easier for a facehugger to implement its eggs into than I believe many, many of those other creatures that they have done that with in those uh, in that part of the franchise. Um, the second question is, what would that look like? And in the background or next to me, you might be seeing a quick sketch of a Demomorph. And this sketch and this appearance is more so for entertainment here and having fun than what I really think logically a Demomorph would look like. So let me explain myself here. First of all, I would I would think, and I was planning on doing the sketch or drawing of the Demomorph basically as a Xenomorph. Okay, so I, I think a Demomorph would logically have more of a form and ultimate look of a xenomorph, a regular xenomorph, such as a xenomorph drone or even a xenomorph warrior. And therefore it would have the, the same kind of structure as the Demogorgon is very humanoid. But what I wanted to change was the mouth part instead of being a regular xenomorph mouth part, but instead having five opening parts just as the Demogorgon, but still remaining with the ultimate look of the xenomorph. Those were my initial thoughts and then some changes overall. But before going to the, the, the whole changes and how different a demomorph would look like from a xenomorph and a demogorgon, um, we have to talk about the eye sockets within the skull that's covered that's underneath this kind of carapace on the head of the xenomorph. As there is the two eye, uh, eye socket holes uh, within that skull but we know that the Demogorgon does not have eyes, as with its other advanced uh, sensories or sensory ability, it doesn't require the eyes. So I would take that out and maybe reshape that uh, phallic-shaped uh, head part and maybe even shorten it, considering that the Demogorgon does not have much of a head behind that whole face. Uh, there's not much there, so we can mess around with that. Then I would consider the, the rest of the whole body of the Xenomorph to look a little bit more aggressive, have a little bit more spines, things like that, but not that much more as we know the Demogorgon is overall quite smooth bodied. Not smooth, it's got wrinkles and stuff, but not no horns and stuff like that. But other changes would be elongated longer arms than a regular Xenomorph, as Xenomorph a drone is basically the common ones we see are based on human hosts. Now this is a Demogorgon host, therefore I think the arms would be longer in comparison with the rest of the anatomy and the fingers. And this is a, a nice model to compare with, even though this model is based off of the pumpkin head figure of the pumpkin head movie, the pumpkin head monster, uh, the anatomy is uh, quite similar. Now, another thing that would be different also on this Xenomorph Demomorph would be the digitigrade legs, as you see here. I think that would be one of the major changes. And actually, I believe NECA, the toy line, has already made those changes. As we see with the original Xenomorph, we had these regular kind of legs, uh, as humans have. Uh, almost uh, high heeled at the bottom to give it this feminine touch. Uh, but now we have uh, xenomorphs with digitigrate legs, which are these with this elongated uh, foot part. So I think that would be another difference that you would see on a demomorph. Now looking at the sketch in the background, it doesn't, again, it doesn't go with logically what I think a demogorgon, a demomorph would look like, but it was just fun. I wanted to do something for entertainment purposes here and to kind of leap above the, the kind of regular thoughts on it. Something that you'll see all too much in Hollywood and video games where they exaggerate things that just wouldn't be logical in that mix of creatures per se. So that's what I did here and I followed some ideas, some logical rules, uh, ideas that I presented you with here, giving the whole form a more aggressive look. It's got that mix of biomechanical, but a little bit more of a fleshy touch to it from the Demogorgon's DNA or genetics. So not all just pure biomechanical. I mean, you still see the piping and tendrils, and I even added them to the, to the uh, jaw parts, which I'll mention again soon. But I wanted to reflect a little bit, a little bit, a tiny bit more on the actual flesh of the Demogorgon 
as well, not just purely biomechanical as more traditional xenomorphs are. So my initial thoughts were just the open five mouth parts of the Demogorgon and the xenomorph head kind of popping out as an inner mouth. But instead of a, the simple structure of an inner mouth, I wanted to design it like the a more simpler version of the whole xenomorph's head. And that's what I started with. And then I wanted to hint a little bit that within that xenomorph's head is another inner mouth. So that's like two inner mouths. It's crazy. But then I continued and I added the, the double face, the, the double heads or the double mouths or yeah, double faces to the xenomorph part there left and right. And when after I did that, then I decided, you know what? Why five mouth flappy parts? How about more? And I think there could be three total too. It would make sense as well, or some odd number. But instead of just the five, I added in some more between those ones, some smaller ones, and I tipped them off with even the kind of uh, tendrils, the xenomorph-like metallic tendrils at, at the tips there. So that's uh, what I came up with. And you can see the little simple Photoshop quick composition I made just as a reference in our Facebook group. Don't expect much from it, but it's just a fun thing to reference from. And maybe you can create your own cool demomorph with that little work, or you can fix it up even more in Photoshop. One more note, I do think the demomorph would be larger than a human. I believe a usual Xenomorph drone is actually around seven feet, which is already quite large. So I'd say the Demomorph would be from seven to even nine feet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you've enjoyed this little video I have composed for you. Again, the drawing does not reflect on my more logical, biological thinking of what a Demomorph would look like. That's more for entertainment as Hollywood tends to you know what? Hollywood doesn't even tend to be that. It just tends to be all about money. But enough about that. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Click that bell to be reminded of other videos because YouTube does its best kind of not to remind people of monster videos. They've got something against monsters here. I'm just kidding, guys. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you enjoyed that. Leave me some more questions about monsters around. And sorry I took so long to getting back to you on that question but I enjoyed contemplating it and working around with it. So I look forward to seeing what you think a demomorph would look like, would be like, and if it could even be created. Until next time, this was another crazy question, only here at World, World of Monsters.